Okay, guys, welcome to um, a YouTube guide for animation on Photoshop CS3. And um, so I just opened up a few basic pictures here. You know, just random pictures I took. Totally messed that up. Um, and so basically, to do an animation on Photoshop, let's just do. I just took three pictures, just so I don't know, so I can show you guys more, but. You go here to window, and you click animation, Sorry. and this window should pop up. So since you're going to have three, uh, three slides here, keep clicking that, sorry. Um, since you're going to have three slides here, you're going to want to go over here to the animation window, and uh, put three, more, three new layers on this, but this will not change anything here until you add, you'll see. All right, so I'm gonna make this my base image. So this image is gonna be my first image down here. So right there. And uh, as you can see, it's copied right here though, but you'll, you'll see what's going on. All right, so this is my base image. I basically take another image right here and just drag it over like you do it, just layer on layer. And now you can see that this popped up. Now I have two layers like you normally would in Photoshop. And this has changed so. All right, so now to make my base image come back, you're gonna go over here and click off the eye. Now my base image is back and these are the same again. So now you click two. And since you want layer two to be, um, and since you want layer two to be uh, the second image, you want to go over here and click the eye for that one. As you can see, this did not change this image. Right. Okay. So for image three here, you want to layer on top the next image. Okay, so I layered on top. Now I should have three images. See that? Okay, so these are back to being all on top of each other. So I'm going to go and click the eye. So this is my base image for slide one. And I'm going to go here. This is my base image for slide two. I won't have to change anything on the eye. And for number three, I'm going to have to click the eye right here. And now it's like that. Okay, so let's just see our animation so far. It's going to be like, yeah, you can barely see it. So since you can barely see it, you're going to want to go over here. Uh, shift click. And then whatever you want it to be. So I'm just going to put 0.5 seconds. And click play to see what it's going to look like. Yeah, so that's what it's going to look like right there. And to put a title on this, you're going to want to shift click. Uh, and then shift click these two. You might want to unlock that. Click. Shift click that. Um, and then you just add like a normal title so it adds it to all your layers. So, I'm just going to put some random here. And 72, so you guys can see it. So it just says hi right now. As you can see, it'll be on all of my slides. But if you only want it on one side, you said, so let's say you want it on only side one, you go to side two, take the eye off, Side three, take the eye off. Then, if you want to add something else, uh, cool. So you guys can see that. So now I'll have this like that. But I could take cool off the first one or high. Sorry, cool off the first one. So then it goes like this. And I would add like a third title on slide three, but I just don't feel like it. And so yeah, it's, it's basically animation. And then just to save it, you go to file. Instead of adding, uh, just save as. That's not, it wouldn't work that way, so you just go to 
save for web devices and it should be defaulted to GIF and your quality will change a little bit because that's just how animated GIFs are but yeah you can't really do anything about that and just click save up here I'll go here and as you can see it's saving as a GIF save and now I have this preview and that's what it looks like yeah so that's my guide Hope you had fun, and I just got extra credit in photography. See ya.